Okay, so we're back in the studio, and I'm glad to be with you today. Um, hello. So, I uh, hope things are going well with you guys, and uh, we're going to be painting today a bunny rabbit in a basket, just in time for Easter. I think that um, this would be appropriate for children to do, um, ages 10 and up. Uh, if you want to have them work along uh, with you, it would be great. So uh, right now, I'm going to go through some of the colors I'm going to be starting out with. Um, first, we're going to have Windsor & Newton Professional Phthalo Blue. We're going to have uh, Basic Cerulean Blue Hue. We might use some Naphthal Crimson Basics. I'm going to use some Deep Violet. This is Academy uh, Grumbacher. This is Basics Yellow, Cad Yellow Hue. Payne's Gray. This is um, Grumbacher. I'm not sure about this one yet, but I think I might be using that. We are going to use um, Thalo Yellow Green in the Academy Grumbacher. We're going to use Basic Hooker's Green. We are going to use Cad Orange Hue in the Basics. And of course we're going to have our white and our black. So these are the start colors. Oh, we also are going to have Raw Umber. I am so sorry. Raw Umber. And I have this as a Windsor Newton. Now, you know, as I told you before, um, colors, as far as this goes, um, in your paints, um, you get what you feel comfortable paying. Um, I find all variations of color what I can afford at the time. Uh, like, I really, my preference is uh, gold, um, what the heck is that? Um, oh my goodness, it just escaped me. But I do like uh, the more expensive ones. But these work just as well if you're learning and you're practicing and you're doing, you know, different things. So, I recommend getting the basics. And you can get these in any craft store. Um, pack of Tans, Hobby Lobby. Uh, you can also get it at Michael's, I think. So, I don't do shopping at Michael's too much. Um, but I think that they do carry it. So, if we add any other colors in here or any uh, other shades of uh, paints I will let you know we're going to start out with the background uh, I always like to start out with the background and hopefully I'm not going to have my head in the way of this um, if I can kind of just tilt it a little bit so that I can keep my head out of there um, I'm trying to get better at this and, and this is a new way I set up so I don't know how this is going to work even uh, hopefully it'll work the way I want it to. So let's start out with our cerulean blue. I'm going to get a number 12 bright. Uh, this is a Simply Simmons number 12 bright. Oh, there we go. See that? Okay. And uh, let's get into our cerulean blue and some white. I don't want a heavy dark background. So we're just going to take a little bit of cerulean blue and mix it because cerulean blue is very very um color intense so it's very saturated one might say so i just kind of uh want to get a nice light blue sky if you can see me hopefully you can without my head in the way and we're just going to pop that on. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, it's been a little hectic for me as it always is. <laughs> I um, have been working quite a bit uh, now that I have this job that I really didn't want to have, but I had no choice as you can imagine being retired. Oh my goodness, and all the bills that you have and just trying to get myself fed as a uh, was a real challenge so uh, trying to make that money stretch it just doesn't stretch so I decided to go to my first profession as a hairstylist and I've been working at a Regis salon 
called Smart Style in West Mifflin. So if you are from West Mifflin or near the area, just come in and see me. I'd love this to hear from you. Now, I also wanted to talk about our 500 um, sub giveaway. This is what I want uh, you to do. Now, I'm looking for the first 10 people to post one of my paintings that you have done on my site on Facebook. It's called Pittsburgh Artist Studio. Um, geez, Pittsburgh Artist Studio. <laughs> well, I guess I forgot my uh, address. How about that? Um, let me think about that. So the first 10 people that post there. Now, this is sort of something that you will have to subscribe to. It's called Pittsburgh Artist Studio Official. I am so goofy. So, of course, you know, when you're on film, you kind of like uh, forget what you're talking about. So if you go to Pittsburgh Artist Studio Official, and you're going to sign in, and the first 10 people who post a painting of one of my paintings that we have on here on uh, YouTube will be entered into a drawing. It only now, so you're going to have to work fast. I mean, it's going to be 10 people, and I'm hoping that you uh, take advantage of this. And when I make do the drawing, I will announce it. We might do that live actually. Um, what we plan on doing is uh, sending you a gift, uh, and I'm looking forward to the fact that you participate. Um, it's always good to participate in these things. It lets me know that you're working at some of my paintings, that you're catching on. It also helps me to understand if you're understanding what I'm saying, too. Uh, I just, okay, we're going to go to about right here because there's grass. And I'm probably going to enter, I'm going to, I'm probably going to turn this around a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. I'll turn it this away so I can get it to about right here. And I'm going to add a little bit of water to my mix so it blends a little bit better. Get the sides, as I always like to do the sides, as you know, if you've been watching any of my videos. Now, like I said, some of the comments on my last video wasn't too good. I do apologize, and I'm hoping that my head isn't in the way on this one. Uh, but my head was in the way, and that's why I decided to put my camera up a little bit and facing down, because I thought if my head does get in the way, it might not be on this um painting. I'm going to uh, go to my smaller number four uh, bright because I want to get around these edges a little bit. Make it nice and smooth here. So I can round out the buddy's ears. probably have to put a little bit more on more paint okay I'm gonna move this over a smidge just so I can reach that other side here I'm gonna be careful to get them in the lines get in the lines of interesting that uh, Easter falls on April Fool's Day. Now also, um, when uh, I was talking about this, I plan on giving you uh, our, this drawing will be something very nice. Uh, I, the last drawing I did, um, I sent a A stencil and a, um, a nice little lesson 
this time will be a little different. Uh, of course, I don't like to do the same thing over and over again, so it will be a little different. And I think you'll like what, what I have in mind. So get those palettes ready. You can paint along with me now, or you can, you know, whatever painting you like the best. Now, I already have one on there already. Someone has uh, shown me um, one of their paintings that they did. It was the unicorn. So sign up and get those paintings on there. And the first 10 people, well, I guess it will be the first nine because I already got one that's first, <laughs> um, will, be draw it will be in the drawing. I will look forward to seeing that. I can't wait. I hope you guys have been working along with me and uh, painting. I changed to my number 12 again because I want to get the sides here. My paints are maybe a little bit dry today because of the heat being on. You know, yesterday, first day of spring, we had a severe snowstorm here. And uh, we got about eight inches, I guess. It was pretty deep. So. Now I just want to kind of smooth this a little bit, make it nice and smooth. Am I in the way? Oh, I hope not. I hope not. Just to go over this and make it nice and smooth. Easter Bunny in the background here or in the foreground. And the background is the sky. took me a while to set up everything today. For some reason I was having issues because I have to format my um, my little sand disc for my camera every time. And where why that's happening, I'm not exactly sure either. <laughs> but oh that's a little too light. Too light. Let's get that a little darker. Ooh, got a big hair in there. All right. Yeah, it's so fun to paint. I just, I mean, this has helped me so much. I, you can't imagine. If you suffer from pain or if you have some issues that you're going through in life that it's just very difficult for you, this kind of like gets you um, away from that for a while because you're escaping into your pains. Now for you young kids, yeah, school can be stressful too uh, today. You know, there's a lot of things that go on in schools today that are very difficult for young ones. And... Um, doesn't necessarily have to be homework. It just could be just every day going to school and being stressed by. I hope you're not stressed by bullies, but I know they exist. And we sure as heck want to have something that can take us away from that for a while. But if you're being bullied, you should tell your parents. Don't uh, be afraid to talk to your parents, no matter what the bullies do to you. I was bullied when I was a kid, too. And, you know, never opened my mouth until I got older. It was family members, and it was pretty harsh. Well, they were pretty mean. I mean, it's hard enough when you have friends that do it, but when you have your own family being bullying you, that's even a different story. All right, so we've got the background in real nice now. Hopefully I didn't get in the way. Um, I am going to get my fan brush, my little fan brush. This one, it's a number two uh, bristle fan. Uh, if you can see it. Okay. I'm going into my white and my blue, and I'm going to make a very pale blue. And I'm going to make some very pretty clouds up top there. 
So now when I do um, clouds, I'm going to make, make it like, whoopsie. Wow, that's no good, is it, if I drop the brush and I step on it, too. Ugh, boy. My hands lately have been really weird. I think it's from doing the hair. So we're just going to tap it in. Just tap it in. You know, just like this. Make some pretty clouds. Make little squishly, just circles. Make little circles like that. Just circle it out. Just put a couple little things down in here. As you get down, you know, clouds kind of almost dissipate. So um, just let it go. Let it go. Just relax. Let it go. Get a little bit more paint and kind of go back in there again. Just get some nice pretty clouds. Just twist them. Have it come down here behind his ears. It's a beautiful day here in our Easter Bunny world. There we go. Got some nice clouds in there, and that's all I'm doing is just going in a circle. Just this a circle. I'm either going right straight or on the side. And we get a nice fluffy cloud. I'm going to grab a little bit of white and just kind of go over these a little bit more here up in here. Just to give it a little bit more pizzazz. There we go. There we go. All right. So, I think we can work on the bunny right now. Now, the bunny is white, but we don't want to make him pure white. We want to kind of have a little bit of a, a color added to him so that, you know, he's not like, um, excuse me, flat. So, I'm going to get my number four. And I'm going to get some white. And I'm going to just tap a little bit of my violet in there. Just a tad. And let's see how this looks around. That's nice. He's gonna have a little bit of a she's gonna have a little pink cast to her. This will be like the actual um first layer of paint on this little bunny. Now right here, that's going to be left open for now. It's part of the bunny's ears. hands, his little paws. Wanna get around. the eggs. Get the other 
computer. Oops, am I in the way? I hope not. Well, if I am in the way, it's only the top part of my head, I think. It might not be so bad this time. I imagine that it's going to take me for a long time to figure out where the right spot is for my videos because I'm not very good at videography or photos or any of that kind of thing. I don't even know how to take a good photo. Before I go any further, because I do want this purple in here, I'm going to kind of I don't want to cover up the eyes and things like that, so I have to be very careful here. This is so sweet. This is such a sweet little bunny. Okay. Now I might be getting in the way here. I hope not. Let's see. I don't think I'm getting in the way too much. Okay, so now I'm going to go into some of my white just straight. And I'm going to, oops, that's a little much. A little bit too much. Kind of like let some of that purple show through. Just let some of that purpley stuff show through. I may even put some more darker shade of purple in there. That um, that's a violet. I want this to show. Okay, so let me just get a little bit of violet on my brush. Get some white. Okay, so right in here, right under the chin, it's going to be a little darker. Um, under the paws, we're going to have that little bit. And we're going to blend that. Just blend it. Oh, I still have too much on there. Just blend it. Into the, into the rabbit. Okay. And you can kind of go over it a little bit. Just uh, blend it out. Okay. There. So look at how nice and shaded that is. That's really looking good. So I'm happy with that. So we want to, oops, I want to get a little bit right in here also. Pause. And you're just using a very little paint on your brush. And you're just kind of scrubbing it in. Pick up a little white. Kind of blend it. So it's blended. Same over here. Get some white. Kind of just blend it in. I 
Okay. Now get some of that in the ears right here. Right in here where it bends over, where his little the little ears bend over. A little bit there. And right in here. A little bit on top here. Like where the ears are kind of meeting. Mine away? Hopefully not. Mine away. Let me see. Yeah, it might be. Might be in the way. All right, so we got our little purple rabbit. <laughs> Now, I'm not sure if the bunny rabbit is purple or if it's pink or what color, but hey, at least we have that in there now. Okay, I see a little spot here of blue that I missed, so I'm going to get some more of that right here. Make sure that's right. All right, so now we're going to make his little ears and his nose or her nose pink. So I'm going to get my little detail brush. Well, this is actually my number 12 uh, deco art brush. I'm going to go into my red and some white. And I'm going to paint in here like this. Just like that. And we have to also remember that this has to be shaded somewhat too. Because we're not drawing or painting every hair on our rabbit today. We just want to make sure that it looks a little bit dimensional. Rinse that out. Rinse that out. Get a little white. And put it right on top of this nose here. Just kind of push it out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of white in here also. Just a tad. Just to give it a little bit of... It's mixing with the pink is what it's doing, so... We just want it to mix a little bit. Alright. Now I want to get a little bit of a um, detail brush my little detail brush. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. This is um, this is a number seven. It doesn't say what it is, but it looks like it's a um, round brush. And around the eyes is white. So I want to get that white. Right here. Okay, and I picked up a little too much white. Also, make it white. Get another little piece of white there. I'm just going to stick it right there. Okay. So we got his white, and let's put the dark in because this is what's going to make his eyes stand out. Let me rinse, rinse out my brush. Okay, I'm going into my black. And I'm just going to paint the pupils in. Can you see me doing this? Is, it, is my head in the way? 
help want. Very slowly, just with your detail brush, paint in the pupils. Try to make them the same size, if possible. And let's give uh, our little rabbit some eyebrows. Like that. And this little thing that comes down here, we want that too. Oh, he's so cute so far. So cute. Okay. Now we're going to, let's see, I would like to work on the basket a little bit. Now I'm going to make two shades of different shades here. I'm going to get some burnt umber, some ultramarine blue, and purple. Now I am going to use something a little different here because I'm not going to use the ultramarine blue. I'm going to use the cerulean blue. And I'm going to put some more white out on my my uh, palette. And I will show you the mixture. I'm starting to run out of room to mix colors, but we'll see what we can do here if we can. So we're going to start out with a pretty big pile of white. So let's get some white and we'll, well, let's see, we'll put it right here. Okay, now we're going to put some burnt umber, that's what this is, a raw umber, put that in there and mix it. Grab some cerulean blue, now I don't know if you can see this, and a little titch of the purple, which might have been a little too much. So I am going to add a little bit more of my brown. Kind of dull that down a little bit. So this is sort of like a taupey color. Um, and it's uh, we're going to use that on this side of the basket. Just to get this first shade in. Right. All right, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. All right, so we're going to come down a little bit more, make it a little bit more rounded. Okay, so the next one, we are going to use a lighter taupe. I'm going to just add a little bit more white into this. And I'm going to mix that over this side over here. Just pulling out some of that darker one and I'm going to pull it around here and what's going to happen is these two are going to meet and you can see the different the distinction between the two I'm going to grab a little bit more of my darker one because you want to kind of feather this in where they meet Feather it in. Very light handed. Very light. Okay. And that's all right if those lines are in there because you know what's going to happen. We are going to actually be putting little, um, wick. this is going to be like a wicker basket. Okay, so um, now this here handles, um, we're going to make these darker, just a little darker here. Gonna come down like that. And this side also. Because we both have both sides. Let me put my palette down. And I need a little brush.
Now your basket doesn't have to be this color. You can make it brown. However, whatever kind of basket you would like the color to be. That's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. Okay. Uh, I think the top here, we're going to make that a little bit dark also because when we put the little wicker things in, they're going to be very light. We want them to show up. Come up. And I actually might make that a little bit lighter because it needs, I think, a little bit more white in there. I want this to be very light here. Okay. And, it, it, you know, when it starts to dry, that's usually what happens. You know. Alright. Now. Let's see. Oh, this is just looking so adorable. What do you think, guys? Don't you think this is cute? I think the kids are just going to uh, love this. They're just going to love this. Okay, so um, we're going to go into our yellow. I'm going to make this little egg right here yellow. So I'm going to go into my, my yellow. This is like a brighter yellow, so I think I, I would uh, be using this one here, the Brilliant Yellow. It's a, um, it's a artist loft. A little bit bright. Get that painted in. Now, we don't want our egg to look flat either, so what do you think we're going to have to do to make that a little bit more rounded? We're going to have to put a little bit darker color in. So I'm going to go with my, um, I think this was raw sienna. Uh, this is a Winsor Newton raw sienna. Can you see that? Okay, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to mix some raw sienna and some of my yellow. And I'm just going to kind of glaze over this. Just glaze over it. You hardly can see it, but it is there. Kind of glaze over it and add a little white to that because I think that this should be just a little lighter in here. Whoops. I have to go into the yellow again. Definitely want to make that a little bit brighter. So, let me pull out my yellow, add some white. Make it almost like a lemon yellow in here. Okay, when that dries, we'll add a little bit more of that to make it look like there's something there. All right, so we made that really pretty pink. We're going to make some more pink, very pretty pink. And we're going to make this one a pink one right here. Okay. Now, um, let's see here. Let's make a little orangish color. I'm going to grab my yellow, add some pink, 
in a nice melon shade. I think I want to put that one right here. Like a peach shade. We're just putting the base part in now. Then we have to make this look dimensional. Don't forget, you know, you have to make it look dimensional. Okay, we're going to make some purple or put some lilac in there. I'm going to get some of that violet and add a little white to it. And put that one right here. Ooh, these are nicely colored eggs. Very nice. Very nice. Now, make your strokes go round because you don't want it to be flat looking and it, this will help give it a little texture. Okay. on that so let me clean my brush get some of that dark bring it back over this that's okay if that purple's in there hmm. okay uh back here this one here we'll make well how about we make this one over here blue let's make that one blue so i'm going straight into my cerulean blue straight in it's just going to be a straight in color. No mixing here. Make it rounded. Alrighty. Okay. Okay. Well, we need a green egg. Let's see. Okay. So these two colors, we want something that will complement those. So if I'm looking at my color chart, here's the here's the violet that I'm using, and directly across for, from that is the complement. So yellow would be great. Um, this this pink. Um, yellow would also be good because that's like a primary color. So let's do that. Let's put a primary color in there, the yellow. We're just going to go straight with the yellow on this one again. Let's put the yellow right in there. Put that yellow right up against that blue. It looks nice with the blue. It's a primary and a complement to the violet. You want to think about those things when you're painting. Now, a nice color for this, um, this one here would be, um, let's see. Oh, I know. Uh, we could put in the phthalo. I'm going to put a little bit of that out. My phthalo shade. And that's the phthalo blue. Put that on my palette. Try to get my in there. There we go. So here's my phthalo, phthalo blue. Okay. Still using my number twelve, and I love phthalo blue. And I think that that would look really nice here. So I'm gonna get a little bit of phthalo blue. Grab some of my white. And just put it right here. Wow, oh, look at that. That looks really nice here. Oops. Okay, because I'm painting from the side, it's a little bit weird for me.
and I kind of got it on that purple, but I think we're okay. I just got to fix that there. So I'm going back into my dark purple again. Get that cleaned up there. There we go. So the only color eggs now that we don't have are green and uh, what other color? Well, you never have a brown egg. But I think I'd like to put the green one right here. And I'm just using my light green. I'm going to stick it right here. Something here is like really thick. There we go. Okay, now I'll kind of smooth that out. Okay. So we got to get one right here. So let's see here. Um, uh -uh. How about if we get it like a bluish purple here? Um, I'm going to use my phthalo and a little bit of my. Violet. Ooh, this is a pretty shade. Mix that. Sort of like a neutral color. A neutral shade. There we go. I think that looks good there. Oh, what that fell? I don't know. Something fell, but I don't know what it was. Okay. So how are we doing so far? Oh, I think it was my chair back. Oh, yo. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so don't lean back. Okay, so let's get this in here, the green sort of well, I don't want to put that in yet because I gotta I gotta get those little um, we wanna get those little uh, parts of the basket in that we wanna like make real cute uh, little let's see if I can find them. Find a nice little brush here. I can use sure if that's going to work or not. Okay, so I'm going to go in and mix some more white into my very pale purple. Very light, very light. All right, so we're going to start over here, and what we're going to do is just kind of like make little one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, little lines. Then we're going to come into the odd part. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is kind of how you make your basket. Okay, so it's one, two, it's going to get different, three. So you're alternating these, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a little darker so you can see them. Plus, you got that little bit that's going, you know, that's in there that's giving it a little highlight or the dark part of the basket. So that's what you're trying to do. You're just making little lines. It's, you can make them sort of like scoop up if you want, as I'm doing there. Um, you don't have to. You can make them different ways because, you know, these baskets aren't 
aren't all the same. But you want to kind of make them in between each other so that kind of got lost there. Let's go over on this side and see what we can do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this side is a little thinner, so I don't want it to be uh, different from the other side there. So I'm going to make them a little bit bigger. them in now. Okay, so on this side here, we're going to um, put a hint of blue on top of that. So I'm going to mix a little white and some of my cerulean blue and a little bit of that purpley shade. Okay, so we're just gonna highlight these a little bit with the blue. So I should mix a little bit more of that blue, purple, cover up all those nice little pieces that I just did. But you want that shadow. Put something in through here too. Just to give it a little pizzazz. Now on this side I want it lighter so I'm going to add some white. Just some white just to tap it in here. Just little lines in between each other. And the middle can stay as is. I'm going to just add a little white on top of my blue here because my blue is purple because it's kind of like fading into the paint. I want you to be able to see that. There we go. This basket here is a bit of an imperfection. Ha! Huh. See if I can get some blue. Whoopsie! Well, it looks like my back fell off of my chair. Okay, now we're going to do some S's. Now the basket, you want to kind of come down in an S form right here, like that. See that? And we're going to go a little bit with the dark here. So you're going to have S's, okay, and they're going to go this way. All the way up. Okay. Same on the bottom here. 
we're just going to make some S's. Just little indications of the wicker. Under here, I want to make that a little darker only because there's a shadow. There has to be a shadow in here. So let's just draw a little shadow in separating. And you notice how that disappeared? So let's get some white here. There we go. Same with this. We want to still get a little bit more white in there. A little bit more white here on top. Just to get a little highlight here. You don't have to hit every one with pure white, just here and there, just to give it that little bit of highlight so that it looks like it's a basket. Alright, so I am going to get that one color here that was the peach. I'm going to put some highlight in here, like that. This one that was neutral, I'm going to get a little white, put it in there. Get a little bit of a shade going there. Okay, and my little bit of blue beautiful blue color, phthalo blue color, okay, some of my violet, I'm going to add some white to it, just a little bit of the same colors that you had put in here before, you're just adding a little white to it. Okay, now we're shade, putting some good colors in here. Let's see if we can get a nice shade here. It's going to be harder to see on this one because it's so light. All right, so now we're ready for our grass. And uh, we're going to go in with the hooker screen. I'm going to use my, my big number 12 bright. We're going to make this very dark. And we're just going to kind of move it around like that because we're going to add more. 
more color to this. But to start out, we're just going to go with this. Get that nice green in here. Just make your strokes go up on, you know, you're holding your brush on the side. Just have them come up. I go around the egg. Around the basket. Just around the basket, around the egg as much as you can. Because what we're going to do, the egg is going to actually have some grass grown around it too. So, make sure you get your sides. Get some of that grass to grow. Just bring it up along the basket. Just use this for a little bit now. Okay, so we got some of the grass in. Now I'm going to take my little, let's see, number four. I'm going to go in with some yellow some of my yellow, my bright yellow. Kind of just making little patches of this color. Because you want this, this to look like grass, you can make some go the other way. You know, don't have them all go the same way because it gets boring that way. Just add your light. We're going to put some around this too. That's got to be sitting in there somehow so it's not so. There we go can actually put a little pizzazz in there. Oops. Might have to go over this egg a little bit. Looks like I kind of screwed that up with the green. Okay, we're good. We're good. Just let that come up. So I'm going to go in now to my light green, my lighter greens, just add a few little here's and there's. You're not pressing real hard, I mean you're just kind of like making little pieces of grass. And grass is all different shades, I mean it's if you look at grass you're not going to have a pure green, dark green. There's all colors to grass. Okay, I think we have it. Our painting for today, Easter Bunny. And I hope you enjoyed it. And hopefully the little ones, I uh, hope uh, to see some of your work on my uh, page. Uh, you can also enter the contest. There's no reason for you not to. Uh, the first 10 people on Pittsburgh Artist Studio um, original uh, will be entered and hope to see you then. Until next time.